Alright. Oh crap, it's coming sideways. You can just turn it. Uh so I don't know why I've changed this. I used to do heel drills after the free walk. I started doing it before it. Right? I used to free walk out, go back and do heel drills. Good bowl weight. I guess this makes it a little bit harder, right? So we can see. I don't know. Sometimes you just change and there's no reason for it. Right? I think maybe it does make it a little bit harder, right? Which is good. You can see if it's sticking in. It's a good boy. He does mostly walk good. But boy, man. Look at good boys. How many times do you tell the dog they're a good dog? Just like without doing anything. Without doing anything, how many times, without your dog doing anything? That's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. Without making your dog do anything, or your dog doing anything, trying to beg for it, a, a, uh, beg for something, how many times do you tell them they're a good dog? He's a good boy. Watch your energy when you're trying to walk. You use that higher energy voice. They might pick up their pace. I guess that's a good way to test them too, isn't it? See if they can deal with the change of arousal level. And still be good, right? I wonder if that's something you're supposed to do. Ah, I don't know, whatever it is. You are a good dog. You are a begging, a begging boy. We don't use food on this walk. Doop, doop, doop. Give the shoulder pat. Oh, see that shoulder pat? He wanted to go off to go to his little sticks that he likes to chew. Not on this walk, bro. That's on the free walk, dude. Ah, oh, a little bit fast. A little boop boop. A little late boop boop at that. I mean, I don't care about the... We don't care about the position, All right? We just don't want you yanking all over the place. Breaking... That's a good boy. Breaking my shoulders, my knees, my ankles, your back, hips. <laughs> Big powerful boys.